restaurants. Siena also has a location in Providence that had to close last March because of the pandemic. Taro says that if the shortage of job applicants improves, he'll be able to reopen that location fully staffed. Reporting in East Greenwich, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News. Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 first forecast. Well, we've had a mainly dry evening. Now we're looking at some rain showers off to our west. They'll likely move in overnight. Live radar at the moment showing not a whole bunch going on locally. So we have to kind of zoom out a little bit, show you uh, New York State, southern New York State, out into Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey. Some of this will be working its way into our area. But the latest information indicating that the bulk of that thunderstorm activity passes to our north overnight. Here's a live look at the city of Providence. You see lots of clouds in place. We're still dry. Temperatures are in the upper 40s and lower 50s, so a little on the chilly side still. Overnight, we're looking at lots of clouds with a chance for some rain showers, mainly after midnight and toward dawn, but I don't think we're looking at an all-night rain here, just some scattered showers coming on through. In a little while, we'll take a close look at your Wednesday. We could be looking at some thunderstorms tomorrow. We'll break that down for you in just a little bit. TJ, thank you. New tonight, former police officer Derek Chauvin is asking for a new trial. Chauvin's attorney says it wasn't fair, the trial, citing pretrial publicity, jury intimidation, and potential fear of retribution. A spokesperson for the state attorney general says the court has already rejected many arguments from Chauvin's attorney, and it's likely the state will vigorously oppose them. Tonight, a Cranston police officer is on trial after he was caught here on surveillance video, punching a man in the stomach and kneeing him in the chest while in police custody. He's facing a simple assault charge. 12 News reporter Sheena Losciuto joins us now from the newsroom with more on the investigation and the officer's first day in court. Sheena. Well, Mike, at this point, it's been about one year since the officer was arrested. State police handled this investigation, and that was a request made by the Cranston police chief. How did it feel when you slammed to the ground with that one? Didn't it feel good? This is video from March of last year showing Gian Mattiello and Cranston Police Officer Andrew Leonard at the Cranston Police Department headquarters. The state says what's caught on camera here led us to the courtroom with Leonard as the defendant. Mattiello, who was arrested by Leonard, was first to take the stand. He says the officer initiated the violence. Where? Where's the first hit? The stomach. According to prosecutors, earlier in the day, Maniello was arrested for a domestic violence incident. This is video from the processing room. All right. So once the um, your handcuffs come off, right? Tell us what happens once the handcuffs come off. He puts his hands up and starts swinging on me. He hands you one and put his hands up and started swinging on me. The defense attorney says Mattiello was reaching for Leonard's duty belt, including items that he says would have been concerning if Mattiello got his hands on. Our defense of this is the force used by the police officer, in this case, based on the circumstances known to him at the time of the use of force, the force was reasonable. The video shown in court doesn't have audio. Maniello insists Leonard called him names and cussed at him while he himself held back. However, the defense says Maniello threatened the officer. And we've confirmed tonight that Leonard has been suspended from the Cranston Police Department. This trial, of course, continues tomorrow. In the newsroom, I'm Sheena Losciuto, 12 News.